Welcome to Crystal Falls Stadium. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Columbus Clippers taking on the Worcester Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And our pitcher in this game, Chris Murphy. Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gym. All right, ready to get underway. Now the left fielder, Will Brennan. Will Brennan. Ball and a strike. And that's You're downstairs right. and outside. Ah. That's in there. Two and two. two, two. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Verdugo makes the catch, and there's one down. Let's take a look at our lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Kind of got it off the end of the bat, but he gets that knock because he was willing to go with the pitch on the outside part of the plate. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. The lefty ready and a 1-1. One -one. And that's outside. Two balls, one strike. Palacios at first, one gone. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. And now the lefty, and that's ball four. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And next is the designated hitter, John Kenzie Noel. And now two and two. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. That's out number two. Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. So first and second with two outs. And now the right fielder, number 53. Two on, two outs. Going to count one and two. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. and It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. The one-two. In the air, out towards left center. Drops into the glove, and that is that. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Welcome back. And towing the slab in this one, Hunter Gaddis. Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one.
We go to the bottom of the first. Here's Many Trevor gone. Story. Red Sox, Red Sox. The second, second baseman. Trevor Story. Next offering misses. Two and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. Now batting Jaron Duran. That's a ball. That misses the zone. Two and one. Just missed. Oh, Liner, base hit. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've that got to come into the zone, and no then one, guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Verdugo. Here's Alex Verdugo. <laughs> Throw to first. Duran. Back easily. The one, two. Popped up. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. Batting four. The seven. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. Duvall at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Two one now. They say it went. Two two. Popped up. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. And now a full count. Two outs. Up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. An inning in the books tonight, and we're scoreless here on the show. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. And here's the first baseman, number 81. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. The wind and the pitch. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger.
So digging in, George Valera. One down, base is empty. And that's outside. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Kicks and deals. What about him playing oh. another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during okay. a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Here comes a pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Brian Riccio. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. here at the ballpark. Here's the third baseman, number 47. The third baseman, Edmund Wells. Why to kick the pitch? In the air, left field. And out number one on the grab. That is the right fielder. Now it's the right fielder, Devlin Granberg. Three two now. Second inning here, no score. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Batting it. Jorge Alfaro at the plate. Alfaro. The one one. Swings through that one out in front that time. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing here this half. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Well, here we go. Meeting Top of the Columbus. third scoreless game. The Here's the catcher, Brian, Brian Lavastida. Lavastida. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Great deception with the change up there, and it's all about arm speed. If that arm speed can look just like the fastball, a lot of times you'll get that hitter to swing and miss. And now the count is even. Two balls, two strikes. And now it's filled up. Here comes a 3-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. It's softly on the ground left side. Over to Dahlbeck. Yeah, Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Now back. Left field. Will Brennan. So the batting order turns over. Here's the left fielder, Will Brennan. He's 0 for 1. And he deals. That one misses. And it's 2 and 1.
just oh, missed. Back-to-back -back. -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. That misses. Two balls and a strike. You won. Ground ball right side, and it That's goes foul. just foul. The no. next offering misses, and it's three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Three, two. Ground ball to the right side. Dahlbeck. He takes it himself Out. to the bag, and that'll do it. No runs, no hits, no errors. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter will be the shortstop. You check. You check. That one ripped. And a base hit right there. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. He was all over that one. That pretty much Second split the zone game. down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make a Go pick. Ahead. Here's Trevor Story now. Let off the game with a strikeout. The 2 1. And a big swing and a miss. Now all even up. And a foul ball. He stays alive. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now, so now here's the DH. Jaron Duran. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. The 1-1. One, one. Swings through that. Always one, tough two. to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch <laughs> after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So... They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now at the plate, Alex Verdugo. 0 for 1 with a fly out. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. The one two. Got him. That's the inning. So one hit is all they get. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back. Now the third baseman, Tyler Freeman. The third baseman, number two, Tyler Freeman. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs.
Next offering misses down and away. And it's filled up. And a pinch. Good job to fight that one off. Fights it off, you'll see another. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. In the air to left center. Verdugo gets under it, hauls it in, and there's one away. Now back at the designated hitter, John Kenzie Noel. John Kenzie Noel now at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. pitch and now it's even up he's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes he usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball swing and a miss had him out front for the strikeout really love the pitch sequence right now there I'm telling you what pitcher and catcher on the same page right now And now the right fielder, number 53, flied out his first time. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Ready to go, bottom four, digging in, Adam Duvall. Saying so Adam Duvall's a guy that's had a nice career, but 2021, the year that was kind of the signature year in his resume. On the ground to first, tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff, man. Next is the speedy first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Well, most importantly, a World Series champion with the Atlanta Braves. First inning World Series Grand Slam. The swing he will never forget. Next pitch is outside. Duvall split that season between Miami and Atlanta in 21. Ended up winning the gold glove and he led the National League and runs batted in. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That one back. And it's off the wall. Palacios relay to third he's in there well that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher you put a really nice balanced swing on it and when you can rope one into the gap like that you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box and he'll feel real good about that one runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game so one gone with a runner at third next to hit number 47 Fly to left his first time off. That oh. misses. Now two balls and a strike. And the right hander deals. That one to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Devlin Granberg, the next to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. And a pitch. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two.
Righty delivers. Right back to him on the mound. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Inning over. But they push across one run. One hit. No errors. No one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. The Red Sox out front. One to nothing. Back here at the ballpark. And now the first baseman. Number 81. Mike the three. The pitch. And a foul ball. No. And just misses with that one. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. In the dirt, Alfaro gathers, throws, and it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. <laughs> and now the center fielder, George Valera. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Got him swinging. Stepping in the is the switch hitting the shortstop, hit. Brian Rocchio. 0 for Brian 1, he struck out swinging Rocchio. last time. <laughs> Lifted in the air, out to left. Verdugo gets under it. He's got it. That is the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the speedy catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Jorge Alfaro. Kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty to the plate. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. That. And as that's a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Chang started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Now that second base. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts? We always talk about connections, kids growing up with one another. Trevor Story grew up playing in Texas on the same travel ball team as Josh Bell. And now two and one. Next offering is foul back. Two down, nobody on. Still two and two after the foul ball. Oh, and a good oh. eye there. 
Really good take, especially with two strikes. In the dirt. Gets it to first. Out. That ends the inning. So they make short work of them there. Five innings complete. The Red Sox with the lead, one to nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now, Brian Labastida. Lined, and that's a base hit. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Will Brennan getting ready to hit. And a 1-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. You know, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Left-hand hitter waits. Lifted in the air, right center field. Granberg on the move to the gap. Makes the grab, one down. The batter out of nine. Second base. Richie. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Chris Murphy out of the game. Really solid performance out of him as he leaves with a slim lead. We'll take a break. New arm when we get back. Matt Dermody on a pitch out of the pen here. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And now, Richie Palacios, one for two. Step off, throw to first. Lavastida back in standing. Back over to first, and they're keeping him close. That misses the zone, and a count two and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. That misses the zone, and a count is three and one. Tyler Freeman in the on deck circle. In for a strike, now it's three and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Ground ball could be two. Fires to second for one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Xavier Curry. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 44, Xavier Curry. So now the DH spot, Jaron Duran. Red Sox, the designated hitter. Jaron. The 1-1. One -one. That one ran inside, almost got him. Well, these guys really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue All making three. things difficult on the bullpen. 3-1 is on the way. There's a strike. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. On the ground, and that's just foul. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. 
drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Two and one now. Good That's eye the right there. Good plate the appearance take there. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now got it. Center fielder. Adam. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Duvall. Adam Duvall. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Now this is in the air down the line. Makes the grab on the run. Runner tags up for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Bobby Dahlbeck digs in now. The first base Bobby Dahlbeck. Runners are at the corners. One away. Swings through that one. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. you got to look for something up in the zone. At worst-case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. Next pitch no. just misses, and it's two and two. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound, the pitch before. Yeah, felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Left hand batter waits. And a count one and two. Duran on third, Verdugo on at first with two down. That one ball. inside, ball two. Two, two. two on, two outs. And Look another out. ball. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Devlin Brandberg waits on deck. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering is fouled back. And a payoff pitch. Out towards left center. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that ends the inning. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Tyler Freeman. The third baseman, number two, Tyler Freeman. And that one lifted in the air center field. Duvall should have this one. Squeezes it. And a quick out number one. Now that designated hit. John Kenzie. At the play. John Kenzie Noel. The pitch. That one drilled left field. And gone! 
So he leaves the yard to left. And this game is tied. It's 1-1. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Now it's the right fielder, number 53. Here comes a pitch. And there's ball, ball four. four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying no, off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that God. ball. Number 81 will hit next. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. And he walked him. Now that. On the mound now, Brandon Walter. He last pitched two days ago. Your attention, please. Now, pitching for the Red Sox, number 75, Brandon. Here's the center fielder, George Valera. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. Next one misses, and now three in a row. Activity in the bullpen, Zach Kelly getting ready to go. At the belt and fires. And a oh, big yeah. swing and a miss. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Nice work there to get the strikeout. And that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. If they can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. So first and second with two outs. Now here is Ryan Rocchio. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Here's a 1-1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. two. That one out to right. Granberg coming on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even now at 1-1. You're dialed into the show. Bottom of the inning. And now the right fielder, Devlin Granberg. The right fielder, Devlin Granberg. The 2-2. Two -two. And now the count filled up three and two. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it stays fair. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And here's the catcher, Jorge Alfaro, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Right-hander kicks, deals. They say it went. The one-two. 
Line drive, and a base hit right there. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits, just a cookie yeah. down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. First and second, no outs. Yu Chang, the next to hit. Swing and a miss. And out two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back now at the plate. Second, Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, Go and away. I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Here's the second baseman, Trevor Story. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. delivers outside. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. 2-2 now. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go-ahead run at second base, but the job's not done yet. Got to get that last out before you can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this home crowd applying so much pressure. Now the number two hitter, Jaron Duran. And he deals. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Three one now. Line drive, base hit. Valera fires it to the plate. The run comes in to score from second. It's two one. Well, he delivers in a huge spot right there. Well, he's so dialed in. I don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there. Very easy swing, nice and relaxed. This is the type of approach you want to see guys take in this situation. So two down. And now here is Alex Verdugo. No. Close, but called a ball. Two balls and a strike. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Two balls, two strikes two, two. to count with two outs. And a base hit. Alfaro headed for the plate. The throw in. Tag safe at home. It's 3-1. A couple of singles back to back. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Stepping in, Adam Duvall. One for three. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. They limit the damage here. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. We look ahead to inning number eight. The Red Sox on top here, three to one. We're at the top of the eight. Now, Brian Labastida. Brian Labastida. Next offering is in for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Zach Kelly, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out.
The next pitch misses. Two and two. That one down the line and foul ball. Kicks and deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Comes a 2 2. Ball. Full count. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses across the first. First out in the top of the eighth. Now battle. The left field. Will Brennan. Josh Winkowski gets the ball now. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Number 25. Josh Winkowski. So up next, Will Brennan. <laughs> Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball left side. And a pitch. Back foot slider ties him up, struck him out. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Next offering is foul back. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And it one hops the wall. And that's a two-out double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't the feel any bird vibration bird. in your hands whatsoever. Right. Such a good feeling. Really, really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So digging in, Tyler Freeman. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. This one in the air center field. Duvall settles underneath it. And that is the third out of the inning. And welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. The first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. And a pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Ball. And that's down and away. Full count. The wind and the pitch. And that's ball, ball four. four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some Leading really off. close four pitches four. and somehow Boogie the found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder and right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Here's a 1-1. Ground ball up the middle and that one finds its way through. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now it's the right fielder, Devlin Granberg. 
Righty delivers. That's oh. outside. Now two balls and two a strike. Ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And it's even up. Two, two. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Valera tracks it down for the out. The bat, the, bat. the catcher, Jorge, Jorge. Alfaro. Here's the catcher to hit, Jorge Alfaro. The one one. Ball two down. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Dahlbeck around third. Head first slide, and he's safe. Comes through with the RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Yu Chang now at the plate. Two on, one out. Outside corner, there's a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And that one is in the dirt. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. Oh. And that one a little bit high. First and second, two down. That's hard hit in the line. Grabs it on the run. And that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Ryan Brazier takes over on the mound. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Number seven. Ryan. John Kenzie Noel getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. Hey, whatever now works, right? Out. Doesn't have to be impressive. Right That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. And now the right fielder, number 53. Next pitch no, misses inside. Yeah, that's ball two. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. The pitch. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And that's going to be ruled a swing. 
kicks and fires. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Snags it on the run, and there's one away. Now back at the first baseman, Mike uh, three. And now the first baseman, number 81. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. Noel, the base runner at first with one out. The pitch. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. So they're down to their final out. George Valera digs in now. Valera. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Our final line score. First for the victorious Red Sox. Four runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Clippers, one run, five hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 50 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.